Uh, hello everyone, uh, Jeb from Jeb's Project. Now let's see what we have on the bench today. Well, today on the bench we have a box. <laughs> we have this here. Oh, uh, should be a board for a 600 watt HF amplifier. Let's uh, go ahead and give her, open her up and see what we got. That's a DX, should be a DX World E. Uh, well, it's been crushed pretty good. So, yeah. Wow. Well, it's a. Uh, They pack it well enough that and that's what she is. She's a six hundred watt amp board. DX World E version 2.0 600 watt LD MOS amplifier board. Use the MRF 300 AN and BN transistors there and there. Can I, I mean, and here's my copper plate and my uh, quarter inch copper and uh. My heat sink will uh, bring the board in. It'll be sitting down there just about like that. Still got to figure out what I'm going to do for bolt pattern yet. <clears throat> Looks like I've got to, I can utilize two of the old board mount points. This is going to be a, a multi-part. I'm going to be posting it as I build it along here. I've still got a drill for my two MOSFETs when they get here. Got to drill two more holes up here for the mount screws. And then uh, we'll set the MOSFETs in and mark and drill for the MOSFETs. Here's my 13 dB attenuator. This should take 100 watts and bring it down to 5 watts. Which this wants a maximum of 8 watts. That, uh, at least that's what the specs for the board say. It's a maximum of 8. So I may not get a full 600 because I'm only going to be putting out 5 here. Gonna be about three watts short, but that's okay. I'd rather have a little bit of headroom that puts out 500 watts. Great, that would be nice. The uh, I tried building an 11 or actually 1400 watt unit, and that just that was with the other LD mosses. And oh, it just got too expensive. I could never seem to get it quite right, so we're going to give it a whirl with this board. Okay, got the board mounted down to the copper heat spreader. And all my mount screws are in place on all four corners, plus here in the middle, which should ground the board decent. Still should run a ground from here to here, so that I, I'm sure I've got a good ground. My uh, 50 volt supplies will come in here and here with even length cables to this point. That way both sides are drawing power evenly. And then my 50 volt power supply will come in on top. That way it feeds the voltage even, more even. Got my 13 dB attenuator mounted. 
and it will come off of here around to here that way the 100 watts drops to 5 at this point and this is a maximum 8 watts drive so that should be more than sufficient may drop the watts a little bit but that's all right and if you see that i'm doing something wrong please comment let me know would appreciate it thank you i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and uh, catch you in the next one.